Hey guys, time for another fabulous episode of FTL. Uh, we have two ships remaining that I have not done yet. And the next one up is Zoltan Cruiser, because we did a boarding ship last, uh, so I thought it'd be more interesting to do another Zoltan, well, the, the Zoltan ship. This one, this one I really like. Um, well, not this ship, but, uh, well, this one in particular, to, to explain it, has a halberd beam, and it does uh, two damage per room. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And you can have the Lido missiles to just uh, turn off shields to make your weapons a little bit more effective. If you so choose to, it's not bad. Uh, it's kind of cool otherwise, but the one we're going to be doing is actually this one. And this one basically has two ion blasts to turn off, basically disable shields, and a pike beam. Pike beams, uh, they do one damage, but they have a very, very long beam. It's really, really cool, actually. I kind of like it. And someone wanted me to do a, a, a beam weapon ship anyways, and this basically starts with it, so there's no sense in me not doing it. Um, also, uh, to mention is, I only have one bar in shields, and what this means is I can't actually power a full thing of shields. Uh, so it's just, you don't get shields. But it's not like the stealth ship where you have to go to a store to buy it. You just have to invest 100, uh, energy, uh, sorry, 100, uh, uh, scrap into it, which is a, f a pretty hefty investment, but, you know, if you, if you choose to, you can, ha you can do it this way. You also get, actually, a Zoltan shield as well, and this one's actually really cool. It's, um, you, usually, you saw me face a couple ships with it. It's basically that thing with, like, 5 HP. Uh, it's like a, a ship that's only charged by FTL, so it never recharges unless you just go jump to another place. And this one's actually really cool. It's, it's um, something that's definitely uh, here to stay. It's, it's very strategical, too, and I'll, I'll show you more about it later. So, we're going to call this the USS... Um, I don't know, piece of shit. <laughs> and, uh, of course, uh, the first member of the crew will be myself, because uh, I have a huge ego. And I don't think I've done game developers yet, so we'll have Gay Ben and, uh, and naturally, uh, Notch. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the setup here, so let's actually start the game. And so, uh, normally what I do is I put someone on engines and then someone on weapons. And even if you're doing the, uh, the first ship, I would still put somebody on, on engines instead of shields. Uh, and the reason for, well, for this setup specifically, uh, the reason for this is evade is very, very, very good on the ship. Because if you evade at the very beginning, you evade shots, it doesn't affect your, your resultant shield remains up, you know? And think of the strategy uh, potential in that. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, so it, that's what it is. The resultant shield is very strategical, utility sort of a thing. It's a very nice thing. It's, you can't get it normally. Uh, I don't think you can get it through any events. Uh, except, uh, well, you just start with it with the Zolt ship. So there's a, a, a rebel ship chasing a civilian transport. Uh, and this transport is uh, carrying Federation loyalists. I'm going to aid the Federation ship. So I power up my weapons. Okay, so they have um, a defense drone and they also have two weapons. So I'm going to target one on his shields, one on his uh, weapons so that I'm... Because, you know, you want to... I might actually want to have both of them on the weapons because no matter what, I'll, I'll eventually hit the... Wow, I don't know how that that happened. They kind of both hit. There we go. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. All right, let's go and hit like this. So we take down his drone bay two, and he has a, he actually has a med bay. That's a pretty early med bay, I have to say. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so the shields I don't put a very high emphasis on or very early on because I really like making this an evade ship. Because if you do, if you play your cards right. Uh, you shouldn't have any trouble, like, because nothing gets through that. So I collect uh, useful resources, take some extra supplies from the other ship, and so that we're good. So actually, uh, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make good on my promise. I'm gonna get early on extra evade. I'm serious. I think it's highly underrated. It's it's fantastic. So um, there's a ship that's uh, your ship seems to be fit to combat. Oh, do I want to do some mercenary work? Okay, space dock is under attack by rebels, uh, but. And it's very important for our trade. We'll pay you in fuel and scrap if you promise to save it. Okay, I'll rescue you, your store. And that, that's, like, that's like a guaranteed store right here, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to save some scrap while I travel over to it. We have a lot of fuel right now, don't we? Uh, there's an extra field that we want to explore. Uh, it's sort of dangerous, but we'll go there and there's... Uh-oh. Someone with a fellow... Uh, evading asteroids, man. I'm telling you. So let's go attack his weapons. Uh oh, look at that. Okay, so 
The best option here is, remember, we want to hit as many rooms as humanly possible. Uh, hopefully critical ones, but in this case, I'm hitting this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This is, I think, the most I can hit. It's one, two, three, four, five. Let's do one, two, three, four, five. But this one hits more critical systems, because weapons, uh, shields, and engines. That's, and, like, I, who gives a shit about his oxygen and whatever? Uh-oh. Okay, we got him. And he goes, he wants to give me some cargo, some missiles and drone parts. That's a lot of missiles. I could trade it later, so I think I will take that offer. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it, it's, it's a decent offer. And so I still have one Zoltan shield, and let's get out of here before an asteroid actually hits me. Because this is actually probably one of the worst places for me as a, uh, oh, here we go. We get to, we can get drone parts. I will reject that, because we want to continue with fuel. There's also uh, a distress beacon right here. Okay. I'll go there. Uh, drones are not that important on a ship like this. Uh, defense drones could help, but yeah. Uh, just trust be a beacon from a planet, and it's the it's the satellite defense system that's gone haywire. So let's go disable the the defense system with our ion weapon, and uh, and we do we disable it long enough for uh, crews to fix it, and so they gave me a nice reward. How nice! Very pleasant. Very nice people. Okay, uh, we're gonna explore a couple of these bottom sectors, but there's a ship that's under attack by space pirates. Let's go aid the, uh, well, whoever it is that needs help. Okay, uh, my priority, I think, is going to be, it should be probably solely on this weapons bay. Because I'm not gonna be able to prevent that from, fi from the, these two weapons from firing, but I will at least be able to stop this drone from an annoying me for too long. So my, my things can remain up. Alright, let's get the beam ready. There we go. And we got we, we brought it down long enough so that it's it's still down. And and they don't no longer have the missiles, so they just have this one damage thing. Okay. Uh, okay, so my this is why I don't have the pike beam on auto fire, because the shields could be up. So I'm gonna just wait for one to disable it. There we go. Oh, uh, we took, we did, we did take one fire damage, so that's okay. So I contact the civilian ship, and I get a small reward out of it, so that's kind of nice. Uh, not gonna go and invest into anything, because I'm, I'm, I'm still crossing my fingers that that, that quest will actually have something for me that's useful. Uh, because it's, they said store, so, you know, that's, that's a, that's a indicator. So there's an automated rebel scout attacking a refueling outpost. Hopefully I get some more fuel out of this. Uh, but he, uh, he charged his weapons, so. Uh, so we're gonna attack his weapons bay. And so, uh, the great thing about something like the pike beam is, uh, on a long ship like this, you saw me with my, I, I'm pretty sure you saw my run with my, uh, my stealth ship. And, look at this, I can, like, attack all his critical subsystems on, on something like this. Look at that. Just destroyed him. I love it. Okay, well, there goes my Zoltan shield. Uh, or what the hell my actual shield looks like it got hit that's sort of odd and I kill this guy in two hits pike beam so so powerful it's so good so we got some more scrap out of that and I think I can go here and then bounce here and then bounce up based upon how much time I have left you know all right let's see uh, well there's another automated ship uh, so we'll attack him to get to the station same strategy as before. Uh, you can see both of these. Remember, it controls the modifier f for uh, uh, making one weapon in particular uh, auto fire. Okay, let's go just fire the pipe immediately. There you go. Just before the shields went up. I love that timing. And so we're just keeping his weapons down. And look at that. Two bars on the Zoltan shield. Kind of, kind of good. Oh, actually, wait, I shouldn't fire, power that up. There we go, now we'll do it. And we're done with this guy. And he gave, gave me a map of the surrounding area, which I don't want to go there. Fortunately enough, it was uh, nice enough to tell me. The great thing about the guy in weapons is he'll level up really fast. So we're going to engage the rebel and rescue the, the, the space dock. That sounds good. Uh, same deal before. Uh, I'm going to just target his, his uh, uh, weapon systems. Cause this guy, look at look at his level already. Like almost like you just keep one guy on that, he'll level that in no time. It's just the first sector, and he's like almost done. That's ridiculously good. Way way too powerful. 
You know, I, with this ship, I really wish I could hit more than four rooms, but there's really not a configuration that can do this. It's just the way the rooms are kind of uh, spread out. It just doesn't work, so you just kind of have to put up with it. You know, getting something like uh, better ion cannons is probably something you should look for. Um, you know, and one thing I actually do want to get is I want to get uh, a fire beam because that is so ridiculously fun. I would love to show you that. And so this guy's going to patch up my hull for me. I didn't take any hull damage, I think. And uh, let's see the store, and there's absolutely nothing I want. Cloaking would be sort of nice, um, but there's nothing I would want to sell to obtain that, so. Um, I have plenty of everything else, so I think I'm just going to forget about it. Uh, well, I guess while I'm at it then, I'll go, whoops, not to the store, but to my ship. Uh, get another upgrade into engines. I know you're probably like going, Mike, why aren't you getting uh, shields? And I'm, I'm telling you, evade is nice. It's just way too nice. I get it later though, don't worry. I'm not doing some kind of weird shieldless run. So some guy's being attacked by pirates, I will aid the civilian ship and I will be a nice guy. Because that, that is what I'm for, known for, is being nice. So you know, I kind of just keep this open. Uh, so the minute that the shields go, uh, well, the minute my pike beam is ready, then I, uh, well, it's, I think it's gonna be ready now at this point. There you go. See, the four damage is all good. There we go. Now he's charging faster. So it's 14% faster charge. These ion cans are now going to fire faster. And, and it's excellent. Just absolutely excellent the, the, how this ship works. I just love it. And now it's like weapons are like infinitely down. That's good. I don't think his shields are good. Hopefully they're not going to come back up. Because that would really bug me. There we go. He's dead. Exalted shields never go down. So I'm going to contact this villain ship. Oh, I can get some other stuff out of it. I'll go to exit. The thing is, I'm not actually... Uh, I'm not actually really lucky at this game. Uh, I'm going to attack the automated ship to get to the storage cache. That sounds good to me. I'm actually... like People think I'm really, really lucky at this game. It's not necessarily the case. It is more of a case of I have a very thorough understanding of the game. And I know what will, I know what will fuck me. I've played the game enough to know that what's the best strategy, you know. Um... It's why I like things like Evade and whatever. It's it's quite nice. Uh, you know, you just kind of have to... You, when you know what's the worst things for you, um, your strategy completely changes. And that's why I seemingly get lucky. Because you, uh, as an inexperienced player, people will run into those traps where you'll lose crew members. And so this guy has a boarding drone. Uh, that's nice. I don't think I'll be doing that because that's a little bit too odd of a thing for me. So there's an uncharted nebula or civilian sector. Civilian sector sounds less hostile to me. Uh, so we'll be going over there. So welcome to the new sector. Get to the escape beacon. Okay. The one thing I actually want to notice about, I notice about the ship is um, the doors are all the way over here. Which, um, that's kind of like a little bit out of the way, I would say. I'm, I'm sort of worried about that, but you know. If I ever had to vent my ship, oh, let's go to the store first. Actually, I have 115 scrap. That's that's more than doable. So he has some valuable technology for sale. Okay, so he's got a bunch of crap which I don't really want. So we're gonna just forget about him. There's two uh, two nebulas here, so that's kind of good. We'll we'll definitely make a stop by there. And we got 30% evade, which is also good. What what is our evade at? Look at that. They're getting pretty good at that. Unfortunately, I do want to replace the, at least the guy in driving soon, so I think, um, oh shit, this is not the kind of place I want to be. Okay, so, uh, this is how we're going to do this. Cloak would be good, because if you have the cloak, you negate damage to your shield. And this is the best I can do in terms of, uh, still four rooms. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. This is why I should wait. I never, I... I may have just fucked myself. Also, but his shields are going down constantly. This is a problem. I need to get out of here as fast as possible. He's powering up his FTL drive. I think I can finish this. Uh oh. O2's on fire. That's not good. Okay, we need to get the hell out of here right after it's done here. Okay, substantial amount of useful material. Go to store. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, small engineer setup shop here. Uh, he's got some crap on me. Uh, strap recovery arm I will particularly get. Uh, we have a hull beam if we choose to. That's kind of nice. Uh, we're going to wait for this fire to go out. 
and we're gonna repair that because uh, Zoltans don't have a lot of uh, HP. I don't know if this is something that you noticed, but uh, oh, he's got 69 HP. Okay, well, make all the sexual innuendo jokes you want. Uh, it's completely warranted at this point. Okay, and power bow too. Uh, well then, I guess we'll put another power point into evade. I know you're like Mike; you're going crazy with evade, but I love evade. All right, um, I'm gonna go one more down, then up, to because Nebula slow down the fleet. Can't complain about. It. Just my luck. All right. Well, we'll ta we'll attack his weapons. Uh, actually, I should probably attack his shields too. Luckily, there's a lot of rooms here, so this will be over in no time. This is gonna wreck him. Look at this. I'm gonna wait though, just in case. Okay, he managed to get he managed to get one beam thing up. Look at that. His shields went back up too. It's the the uh, the asteroid sets it all up, like makes it all weird. All right. Look at that! Look, I even got his oxygen bay? How did I manage that? That's ridiculous. Alright, well, uh, I kind of want to get out of here as soon as possible, so I am actually going to take his little thing here. Because uh, this is not a place that's- it's hazardous to my health to be here, so... Let's get the fuck out of here. Alright, where are we now? Oh, look, this is the one thing- th these events where they get through your Zoltan shield, they always manage to make it through. Fortunately, I'm not a very good at fighting stuff, so we're gonna just make them force them to go into my my uh, medical bay, and we'll just let the O2 go back naturally on its own. This Mikhail Gryek and Ma Malot, who are gonna die to Zoltans, it's pathetic. Well, these guys are done. And everyone back on their stations. Look at this, Notch is almost even at like his next level. He's he's not good at programming, but he's really good at <laughs> fucking uh, <laughs> at firing weapons. Good job, Notch. I kind of want to go to this distract speaking, so I'm actually going to go there. And you know, to make you guys happy, I'll go for uh, my, what's it called, my shields next. So there's a fire uh, in the station, in the fire suppression system. I'm going to dock and try and rescue survivors. Luckily, I got one. And I'm gonna offload the rest of them. So it's a it's a filthy human. So let's get it. Let's get this guy off. This guy will be my shield. This guy will man my shields now. Uh, even though I know his evade was really high, uh, and it'd be nice to. But he's just he's not powering this. This self po this self power. So uh, there's also nothing I can really put him on at the moment. So I'm going to just uh, keep keep rolling down up here. Uh, so there's a disease here, uh, and that seems like a really bad idea. But the rhyme seems to be likely. I'm gonna ignore the request to move on. Just, it's likely, you know, it's a disease. Someone's gonna die, and you know, crew very valuable, especially for a ship like this. So it's a mercenary ship, and sometimes their unique skills can be ha uh, useful. And it's gonna engage me in battle. Okay, you do that, son. This guy's kind of good. He's uh, he's on that. So one of the things I may actually attempt a little bit later is um, oh nice. And he'll give me everything he has. I will not accept surrender. It's, I, oh, maybe the fuel would have been useful. So this guy leveled? Yeah. So one of the things that I could do is I could potentially have uh, four guys in the shield bay. And basically the entire block of shields gets gets cannot be ion, basically. That would be kind of nice. Uh, I don't know if we'll get to that point. Uh, hopefully we will. And substantial material from the ship explodes and stuff like that. So we got... A good amount of material. All right, so there's a there's a ship here that's apparently wants to one v one me. So let's go kill him. Like, right, look at how much shit this goes through. It's ridiculous. So I want to get all the critical systems. Fuck these rooms. Uh, I want to get like the the NG bay and sorry the engineering and oxygen and you know stuff they actually have to repair. It wastes their time, you know. And then they're like, oh crap, we have to have oxygen, because we're intending on breathing past this fight. Oh, what? Oh, shit. I I accidentally clicked. That was kind of my bad. That's okay, though. I might as well just fire it immediately. Actually, no. Well, nah. We'll wait. 
because uh, it potentially there we go and this guy now has maxed out his weapons and we got a good amount of useful material uh, we'll go straight to the exit now actually still no shields unfortunately I can't power them kind of sad so uh, long range beacon here is charged and some guy just gave me a, an, a beam drone for absolutely no reason. So we can either go Mantis or... We're going to go to Mantis Homeworlds. I, I know I'm not necessarily a crew that's meant for boarding, but they can't board me while my Zoltan shield's up. It's the best. So ensure my hull plating is up to snuff before I continue. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, we'll do another sector. Let's look at my time and yeah, sure, we'll do it. Oh, so there's another distress call from a research station. We'll try and dock and rescue survivors. Unfortunately, uh, the last of the survivors are consumed. We do not get another bonus crew member. Although, although we got some scrap out of it, so let's do that. There we go. Now we have a shield. To now, by the way, it goes for the Zoltan shield first, then my actual shield. So it's not. How overpowered would that be? Come on. Oh shit! It's a sun. I hate suns. Okay. They have uh, two bars of shield, so I have to completely target their shields. They're right now sitting in the uh, in the weapon, the the transporter bay. They're like, dudes, we need to get through through this, and they can't get they can't get in. Not until the Zoltan shield is down. I'm gonna do everything in my power to t bring that down, so now they can't board my ship. Okay, so they're about to do. Uh, I want to kind of target that now as well. Okay, let's go vent that. There we go. Okay. And we got some good scrap out of it. So uh, let's jump to over here. There's a lot of there's a lot of places around there. Hopefully my med bay doesn't die. And there's nothing here but some uninhabitable planet toys. Come on, go away. Go away, fire. Okay, thanks. Okay, we're done with that. So let's go get another power bar, which we put into engines, and now we're fully uh, we're fully running. We're good to go. Okay, so there's no stores nearby here, so let's just uh, continue on merry way. I need to get fuel soon. This guy's so fucked. Like well, asteroid field. Why were you here? Why were you stationed here? Who, who's your commanding officer? Why would he put a fucking ship that with no shields in an asteroid field? Well, there we go. There goes most of his weapons. Unfortunately, it looks like uh, an asteroid may finish this off for me. Or maybe not. There we go. MLG asteroid. And we caused a hull breach on his ship. Okay, so 32 scrap out of that. Nice. Okay. And now we can actually live through asteroid fields because of the fact that I have one block of shield. That's enough to last through, through uh, an asteroid field. So the civilian ship is being chased by a mantis ship. I'm going to go aid him. And uh, I power up my weapons to go attack him. All right, both of my uh, okay. So once again, it's one of the ships where we do want to get uh, the teleporter bay. So I'll probably structure this. Uh oh, that's not a good sign. Oh, oh, that was a that was a thing. Okay, we need to wait for one more, and then we'll just fire like straight down through here. Don't 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 go down yet. There we go. Teleporter's down. Don't have to worry about borders. Until they repair it, of course. Oh, I could probably target that now. So, you know, just uh, keep keep thinking on your feet sort of a thing. There we go. Look at that. Um, apparently he hates doors, though, so... Come on. I just need one more damage. Uh oh. Hopefully I can get it one more. Oh, I didn't get the one more hit in. Damn it. I was hoping I'd be able to do that. Oh, he made it in. And he boarded with an NG. How retarded are you? Okay, let's try and delay them as much as possible so I can try and... Oh, uh, okay. This worries me. Uh, let's actually go help with this. They can, they can have that. I'm unfortunately not being able to bring down their stuff because right now my evade is not being powered, so I might as well just take these guys away. Okay, uh, they get guaranteed hits on me right now, and they decide to run away. We need to really power this up, and I, I, I can't. I, I that fire is going to spread. 
Why am I not able to bring down his shields? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, this is the worst. Okay, let's go. Actually, let's get the hell out of here first. First things first. Unless I can bring him down. There we go. Oh, that's the worst. Okay. Let's go vent that out first. Attempt to... Okay, he's gonna uh, put a small bomb on my ship. Uh, that's 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 all fine and dandy, but we need to really deal with this fire here. I'm getting doors too, so I can also... Uh, uh oh. This is not a good sign. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna bring all... We're gonna equalize all the air here. And take out the air from right here. Okay, so this guy needs to leave. These guys need to repair. That was that. This was kind of a close one. My O2 is getting kind of low, but luckily it's now being powered. So. Okay, and I think we'll just wait for a minute. You know, take a take a deep breath. You know, there's no rush to do anything. Uh, you know, we we had a close call there. My life was flashing before my eyes, but I think we'll be okay. I guess this guy might as well go start repairing this. You can go hop hop over there and help him out. Cause Zoltan's man, I I don't like losing. I don't I don't like losing them. I get I I rage because they're like they're really useful, but they're really weak. Okay, so get uh, Mike Lat was on. So let's see, Notch was on weapons. So get back on weapons. You were there, and I was here. I just got really unlucky with that last one. It also gave me a small bomb, that's right. Um, not something I probably want to keep, although I'm looking at this now, and I guess it couldn't hurt. Um, you know, I might as well. 